Wow. So some of you saw part A. Black women. We're at war. And you wonder why I say not to carry the seed of poverty, D. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Unless it's a decent person. And I don't mean because he breathing and take a shower. And he pick up his kids once a year. I said before to a friend of mine who felt some kind of way. I said to her before, and Chicago was the example, I don't understand what kind of black woman is having a child by, and you live in a place like Chicago, and you getting pregnant by these fools. What are you thinking? You should be on hashtag, get the hell out. I don't know what it's going to take. I keep saying to be selfish. This is why. This is why you're being raised and groomed just to be the mule of America and the mule for your community. And I think of all the black women with the George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter, which we know is a big joke, in my opinion. All the black women are sitting up there marching and got your coat on from New York to Chicago and in those streets. Who in the heck is going to march for thee? Where's the outcry for black men to march to say, hey, protect our women. Don't hold your breath. fighting for everybody but yourself. I haven't seen black women looking like, I'm sorry, you look like a star naked fool up here fighting for some illegal immigrants that don't give a darn about you. You want to test the water? Well, take yourself to California and move into a neighborhood and you're going to see what's going to happen. Don't be surprised if your car catch on fire, shoot your house up and kill you and your kid because they're trying to claim something. Uh oh, what a black game bangers that they must be gone. Cause look like Jose and them got it going on in that sector. Who's fighting for you? And then to make it worse, you got to fight the mammoths and you have other black women sitting up here fighting each other. Oh, we make sure that we try to keep up. Uh, we don't make sure that we don't make no money. Like I told a, a person, I don't, I don't, a black thing, I don't get involved in that too much. No. I don't make money out of black folks like that. Oh, I'm not, no, not wasting my time. It's too much dysfunction going on. So think, on the job, you see, you hear about black women pulling each other down. You already got the Negro men in charge, and you know it's going to be some drama. It's pretty much drama guaranteed if Mr. Seed of Poverty D is a manager. Fight, 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 fight each other. That, that's all you got. And you look like a fool, especially these mammoths, fighting other black women. This is what your community has to offer you. And you talk about defund the police. What was Lori Lightfoot doing for you? Uh, the new mayor, what's he going to do for you? Ski Wee, Kamala Harris. If anybody, we should be in a protected class. Ski wee, but what you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. Who's still having children? Who's still setting up for baby mama drama? You gonna be in the same position as the one condition as the one before. Who's targeting you? The white man? Who's targeting you in Chicago? You already know who it is. Talk about the angry black woman. If that's who you are, my apologies, my darling. But guess what? Your community made you that way. Oh, the hell it did. Your community made you that way. Your upbringing. Mama and disappearing daddy. Most disrespected, unprotected. Remember the white dude passing the HIV around? Now, let's not forget. Let's not forget the black men they say brought him to the, to the cookout. Introduced him to the community. 
and look what happened. You didn't hear not one beat down that that guy got for infecting those women with, with, with HIV. If anything, you hear the black man say that's what they get, what they get on her, uh huh. And you look like a fool caping for it. I'm just going to be direct with you. I don't have time to be nice because nice doesn't work with black folks. Sometimes you got to get real in that rear end. You carrying a man, how this working out for you, boo? How many have we seen dead on the, on the screen? She was pregnant, her baby daddy, her baby daddy. Sometimes her husband. Why is this happening? You don't hitch your wagon to a loser. This community is lost. You're hitching your wagon, sit up here trying to build, I'm sorry to say, with the men collectively who are at the lowest of the barrel, the bottom of the barrel born boys. Black women, I love you, but you're so hard-headed. You, you, they're not going to listen. I'm going I'm to show, I'm going to... I'm going to be Barbara the Builder. Good luck trying to build your boo. He might be the end of you. Call your sister. Gonna pick up the seed of poverty. D. It's evidence all around you. Just all you got to do is open up your eyes. But you want to look at the hood through rose colored glasses. And I'm going to show him. Uh huh. And he's going to show you and show out and bite shoot. They're targeting you. Black women giving birth to the seed of poverty, D, hard-headed, don't want to listen. Then they don't raise that thing they got over there. He's mad and angry. The daddy done ran off, commit a crime. That's who they're targeting. You've, you're connected to men who are at the very lowest of the barrel, the barn boys. When they get finances, they don't know you. They want to run away from you, but you still hold it on. You're in love with a community that don't give a damn about you. Facts. They show you every day. Why do you think I say? I know some are, are bent on having kids. If you could wait five years, don't do any kids. Maybe try to put a portfolio together. But oh no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna be with my man. He gonna look at his father. What's the setup of, of his mother? Think on that wise. Look at your man's father. What is the setup of his mother? More than likely that's gonna be you, if not worse. Or you might end up in a hearse. But you're gonna fix it. I, I'm, I'm gonna show him. I have heard that and seen it personally. And then I see it on the on the um, on the news. The educated black women gonna show them. I've seen two do that, uh huh, and they got shown up each time. Struggle bus, but we're not gonna listen. He different? No, he's not. He's just like his ratchet father. He different? No, he's not. Raising kids for what? We don't even know how. And now it's out of hand. If I'm like, who, even after the pandemic, now post pandemic, who the hell is, is sitting up here being a baby mama by these fools? This is happening in your community. And who do you think is doing the crime? We don't have to figure, we don't have to guess. Who do you think is doing it to you? Black men, their son, black boys. Community so out of control. Don't know how to have a, can't even have a grocery store in it. So stupid. Can't even, you can't even have a, a basic grocery store. Community is so out of control and so backwards. Don't even understand the context of value of family. We're going to keep on being a baby mom. So what? Anybody talking about no marriage? Maybe that's why you don't have it. It's about business. It's about the contract. 
keep on having kids by the seed of poverty deed, then they just roam free and just get just destructive. Being abused in relationships in high school, words of protection, there is none. And I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm gonna so those who still want to keep hope alive, you want to still believe. The men are weak as a collective. That's why this happens, you think? And you still don't get it that they hate you. That's why they do what they do. But you want to uh, play kumbaya with a fool. Keep it up. You still don't get that they they don't love you. They don't even know what love is. I look at this with this lady, the one that just died, Jackie O. You got some black women still hot on how much they were in love. Yet a man sit up here, done pump three babies for him. Your body goes through changes because you're carrying his kids and he still has an honor you, but he love you. Oh my gosh, you cannot be that slow. Don't even know what love is. Love is respect. Out of all of that, the girl is hard working, got all kind of hustles up, businesses. What's the problem? And then he complains about your body. Not an overheard conversation that was recorded. No, on the internet. Saying about your breasts and what? Uh, is similar to what? Some pepperonis or something? You, you, what? I'm sorry? And you think... You think this man impregnating you and walking off and you really think he love you? Don't even know what love is. That's really sad. Maybe she don't want to get married. Ain't no woman that's sitting up here having three kids by a darn man don't want to marry him. You can buy that BS if you want to. Like I told that young lady, you're not married to him because he don't. he hasn't asked you. Let's be real. You're not sticking around for years, having all these kids by this man and don't want to marry him. He haven't asked you. He's not marriage oriented. We don't even know what it's about. It's about building. What are we teaching our daughters? Son won't listen. And in a lot of places, black mom ain't saying nothing because guess what? She, we, we're not going to be wrong. And that can, that can be uh, applicable to all women, but we, we're not going to be wrong. No, she ain't. Oh, the hell. She was wrong because the one before her was wrong and on and on it goes. This, this makes no sense. Breeding dysfunction. Breeding dysfunction. Where are the fathers at? They're not, they can treat the young girls any kind of way. There's no father in the home. He is sure when he bought 65 and full of diabetes and then place to lay his old ex whoring head. I'm your father. It's a little late. I'm glad my father wasn't like that. That's why I, I, I no, nah, I'm not trying to hear it. No, no excuses. My father was there because he cared. But black women, I hate to say it, love you so much, hard headed. We're going to keep on being baby mama. You you go do it, girl. You in that old dust bucket and see what's going to happen. You're going to have your children more than likely in poverty or you'll have to work like a freaking man and wonder why you're stressed out and your hair falling out. Then you get a weave or weird. They're making funny about that. Who don't get it? You are aligning yourselves, I'm sorry to say, with a group of men that collectively are conquered. And any black man as an individual that is not conquered and try to be a child of Negroes, be mad at him, he might end up getting killed. Welcome to the BC. Smile for the camera. And all the lies and deceit and hatred behind closed doors. That's why I urge black women not to have children if a man cannot marry you and provide security and i don't mean no 50 50 50 50 is no security you're wasting your time how many baby mamas been killed by the boyfriend black woman if you heard about it that's on my list i saw it she was attacked by another black woman and she was stabbed and she yelled for help and nobody came. With a three-year-old daughter. Attacked by a crazy black woman, a dustita, a wildebeest. 
nobody came. Oh, but you get these black men out here. No, they ain't have to do that to him. Well, so what? He was said he had to go on that car. They had to shoot him in the back. What do you think the gun is for? It ain't to rob the white man. It's to rob you. Because you, you're stuck. You're in proximity to the dust. I said before, say it again. The most dangerous place for a black woman to be, child, is in the black community. That's sad. The most dangerous place to be in the for a uh, most dangerous place for a black woman to be is in the black community. Who's marching for you? You went on the black men to do a little, do a march for you. Who's marching for you? Sitting up here trying to protect men in a community that don't give a darn about you. But then when it's you in the hot seat, everybody quiet. You might hear a little peep every now and then. Everybody quiet. Something bad happens to you, the men rejoice. And what you get? They say they strong. You've aligned yourself with a bunch of weak ass men. That's what's happening. Weak. This group needs a reset or a do-over, which I know is not going to happen. In a chimerical world, of course. A utopian society, of course. But we don't live in a utopian society. We live in reality. And then you got the new to fight all the black women. That's trying to have something. It's unbelievable. Not knowing, hello, dum-dum, that's your way out. And I'm just, I'm just so sick of it. I, I, I am so sick of it. Some of you still waiting on your kind to save it, huh? They ain't saved you yet. Let them get a, uh, play sports and see what happened. They haven't saved you yet, not going to. Sun Tzu. If you know the enemy, not black women, you can't, man, you can't tell them nothing. This been going on far too hell along. We've gone over this several times. I just don't get it. My channel is small, and I appreciate the people that's, that are supporting it. But the stuff is even on the news. Even if I didn't have this channel, other channels have it. Who, who not getting it? Black Queen Mama not going to be wrong. Every black woman with a daughter, even if it's your niece or nephews, if you are near, y'all should be sitting down having a darn meeting. Not worried about some hairdo or some concert. Should be having a meeting of how we're going to propel to the next level. Why, why, why can't we do that? You can meet everything else. When it comes to that Negro getting locked up, you know how to get your uh, Louis Vuitton purse, your Dunenberg purse. I don't care if it's your $2 gas station purse and go down to that place and put some money on the book and see about a lawyer. You should be having a meeting with your girls. What's going on? Just checking in with everybody. Can, can, can you do that? You got time for everything else. Women should start having meetings in the family. And I don't want to hear about your damn man. I'm sorry. That's, no, it makes me very angry. That's your darn problem. Up her running behind dust like a fool. A black woman had three. I think she's got three children. This fool met a Negro that was in the penitentiary. How about this? This is what you still not learning. What did she do? Put the Negro through college. And I don't mean no two year. Put him through undergrad, y'all. A Negro out the penitentiary. Put him through undergraduate at the university while he stayed there. This Negro woman was paying cash. I think she got four kids. Well, guess what happened? She had to leave her job early. Why? What happened? She had already gotten over 43000 I think, was her savings or 401k. Had to leave the job early. She's at work. Guess what? He graduated. Got a job. 
The kids at home from school. Guess what happened, y'all? He packing up and moving out. And the kids called her. He trying to skedaddle on her. She at the J-O-B. Put him through undergrad at the university. Got four darn kids. No money said of four kids. He packing up and she get the phone call. She upset. At the desk, had to pull herself together. And tell him a homegirl what's done happened. Got to leave for the day. He leaving. Him and his education is leaving. That's your investment. You believe in the black man like he is the Messiah. I'm like, what? Oh, update on that. Here's an update for your girl. Put him through undergrad university. Paying cash. He moved out and left. And of course, where did he go with the woman that he met at the university? Bye-bye. Want to hear what makes matters worse? She's out of tens of thousands of dollars. Plus, she's been feeding him and clothing him. Want to know what makes matters worse? No money set aside for, for her children or herself. Then you look up. When it rains it pours, she lost a job. I don't, it's like you got to be kidding But that's the investment that she made. I'm going to do what I want to do. How's it working for you? We have to realize sometimes we make mistakes. I was like, oh boy. Lost her job. When it rains, it pours. Don't even know what love is so desperate for. Men got here. Men got you out here. Baby mama, I don't know how many times. And then fun some other chick elsewhere and you still hollering, he loved me, oh, that's love. Don't even know what love is because you're so used to abuse. You you think you know, but hey, I know you can't tell us nothing. We're hard-headed. I'm a, and you, uh, uh, you you don't know our situation? I sure don't. And I, and I don't envy it either. Hashtag no more baby mama. You want to try to escape the seed of poverty, D. But when you live with the, where they are in the community, these things are going to happen. They're preying upon you. That's why they'll carjack you, snatch your purse, shoot you, threaten to kill you, kidnapping you, sex trafficking you. I think it's this group, there's a... We really need a serious uh, intervention. Look what all they've done to, done to you. Still holding on. And a fight another black woman for having a difference of opinion. So much jealousy and envy. That is why people that have resources of the black people, they, they avoid black people that don't because it is going to be a jealousy issue and our people don't listen. Then when stuff happens, looking all crazy. Who going to come and shave us? Tyler Perry, what he's done. People say, oh, he should have done a school. He should have done a hospital. And Tommy gets out that he's done that, that he owes it. Watch some drama break out. He got a whole lot of money. That's how disturbed the community is. The community is not even safe for its own women. Where is the protection? Young girls being molested. Talk to be quiet. And then when I did a video. You saw a mother knowing that happened to her. That crazy witch done had the same man to babysit her daughter. It's like, huh? That happened to you, and you put your kid over there? She needs to be locked up, along with that fool. Look at the one I just told you about, that, the guy with the HIV and AIDS. You wonder why some black people just want to move away, away from Blackistan. One girl had five siblings, and they said, oh, yeah, she doesn't move far away from us, and she doesn't really deal with the family. I can imagine why. 
all the drama they had going on. She was smart. But see, Black Queen Mama, you're supposed to stay there and struggle along. And I know you're doing okay, TT, but we got to help Bon Queen for leave Bon Queen for where that thing lay. She gonna still let me land up with her man, having all these kids. Do not buy pampers and diapers. Leave Bon Queen for alone. And if Black me Queen Mama's so concerned about it, you can get your Black Queen behind over there and you see about them. Because number one, you put them here. Are you checking Bon Queen for? Are you checking your son? That's what black mamas do a whole lot. I got to call it out. They'll sit up here. They'll sit back on an industrious. Next thing you know, here they come. What is it now? Somebody got to help. They can help themselves. Heaven help those who help themselves. Sometimes you have to get away the disrespect from black queen mama. Because she's older. You can't tell her shit. Can't tell her anything. I'm so tired of black women having her single lives. They'll be sitting up with no man. I've seen this. They got a house doing fine. Chick is as happy as a lark. Now here come black queen mammy. Please sit your ass down. I'm sorry. And if y'all can't tell her I can, email me. Let's talk. Please sit your mammy. I hate to say this. I don't mean this is disrespectful. Sit your mammy ass down up here just ruining lives. Then you're sitting up here. Why the hell is she 35 years old having a freaking nervous breakdown? And then you look up what's on her plate. Lord, sweet Jesus. What the hell is this? So she already married or divorced. Okay, she got her own kids. She's self-sufficient. Now I got to take on a mama bill. Now the mama got to bring her ratchet ass son in. And you, you like a damn soldier. Take care of everybody but you. Where is your protection? I have literally seen black women up for working two jobs. And they got their old mammy sitting up in the house with her son who doesn't work. And it's like, well, is this nigga going to get to work? How many black women, it's like one person going to work for the check. How many is eating off that one check? Her, her man, her kids, her mama, her cousin, her brother. Man, it's time to do some house cleaning. If, if you value your lives, because this is very disturbing to me, it's time to do house cleaning. If a man don't have a check, he can get get the hell out. Bye. You a fool to have him up in. I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you. Maybe your mama said, oh, well, no, no, no. Keep them up in there. You might end up dead. Doesn't sound very nice. Guess what? I don't lost my feels for dealing with this crew. <laughs> Our folks don't get, well, now what you should be, uh, black people don't get that. You got to sometimes just come real, real with them. That's why it's very taxing uh, to deal with black people. Community is so far gone. But that's okay. Somebody gonna end up being a baby mom again. Keep it up, and you end up on the screen. That's you. You, the men are just low performing men, and as a collective, and that's what it is. When they get resources, they do not build for you. They absolutely do not. Black women, you're single with no kids. If Bunkwe for them end up getting pregnant, and I hope not, they end up getting murked by these men. I don't give a dang what Black Queen Mama says. If she that damn concerned about them, hell, you you take those kids and raise them. Do not let them. They always go to the black woman that's got something going for herself. This community will just snatch your ass right back down. How the hell you got three kids? These aren't even your kids. The most empowering word you can use is no. Self-preservation. I have seen this like, wow. I've seen personally two cases like that. Two cases and there is no help. That's why you can't create generational wealth. Talking about the white man, I got news for you. It's the black, it's the black community. The, the, the dumbass thinking or the lack of thinking. Black women could have so much more. How many are eating off that check? One person going to work feeding five and six miles. And some of these people that's eating off of it, they got a head, two and two legs, just like her. And it's a man. Then you find yourself stuck in the hood, and then little TT is preying on you. Just like I can't believe this night, your girl. I just did the story. You probably just saw the video I uploaded. The fiance done killed the mama, strangled her, then tried to then set on fire. Now she got to raise a fourteen year old. This is exhausting. It is exasperating. I'm sorry to tell you. It's all starting with the men. 
but you're going to keep on holding on. Fighting for what? They won't piss on you if you were on fire, and we don't want to face it. Then their children grow up angry, and they know who to target. Black women. Skiwi, we need a, uh, a bill. A hate crime bill. Surprise, nobody cares. What's the black politicians doing? They need the black woman, women to vote, to vote them in. What are they doing? Keep. But see, we're so used to that. That's part of a culture for black women. Everybody just take, 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 take. And you're just so used to it. Now is the time to be selfish. If ever before. It's time to be selfish. Most disrespected, unprotected. And then you look around, the same women that have all these kids, their children, get, the men get so angry. And think, don't, don't fool yourself. Some of the ones committing these crimes, you do understand that a black woman is supporting them, right? You do understand where he let his old greasy head at night? Or his old greasy alpha, whatever, dreaded head, bald head? Where he lays his head at night is more than likely in some black woman's residence. Her name is on that damn mortgage, on that lease. You do understand that, right? Then they commit crimes against you. That chick will know it. whoop de woo She'll know it. How he come home with that purse? He done stole it. Snack, got, a, uh, got a cash out and give it to her. That's why I said be selfish. Do not let this group bring you down because they will. This group will bring your behind down to the ground. And all the crimes are committed by who? This right here, you know it's black men. This in Chicago, I would say the 99%. And then you sit up here, you want to box up with somebody who's not a mammy. You appear marching for them like, oh my gosh. Who's marching for you? When have black men got together and say, hey, let's stop killing our daughters? A black woman, remember the black woman that was, uh, I think she was attacked at the gas station by some foreigners? Who was at the gas station protesting? You could count maybe one or two men, all women. What what it means that? And don't lie and tell me they busy at work because you know that's a darn lie. You were basically living and walking in a war zone and sitting up here with your dumb earphones on, looking at it, done put on some, by choice now, rose-colored glasses. Bullets flying, mothers crying, sex trafficking, robbing your car, jacking you, and you sitting up here, rose-colored glasses on, and just walking, listening to, you know, little opera, listening to your little music, like, everything is fine. Oh, yeah, really? It's a target on your back. You are basically... Walking, living, and breathing in a war zone. And sometimes the war zone is your home. And don't even know it. Don't even know it. The things that these black men do to black women, you are looking at a black man that pretty much works for the Klan. We want to, oh, no, oh, no. You want to bet? The Klan did the very same thing. Rape you. The only thing they haven't done to you is make you a tree ornament. But everything else is applicable. Rape you, subjugate you, uh, destroy your business, rob and kill you. Hello, do you not have you not seen the videos or documentaries? What do they do? They do the very same thing. What do they do when they came like in Rosewood and what have you? Uh, even reading the books, dead, they'll snatch jewelry off your neck after you, you lie in there dead. After they bombed everything, they went to the house like took whatever they wanted. Took whatever they wanted. The black men doing the same thing to you. The same thing as a clan. Only difference is instead of the white man, it's the black man. That's why I've been saying a black man that works for the clan. They showing you. And you want to sit up here and march for them and cape for them. Who's marching for you? Maybe you need to get together and try to start building. Maybe stop being a darn hater. We want everything for free when it's a black person. Unbelievable. I did a video on Patreon. 
And I talked about that before, um, how money operates. And I, I remember seeing one little comment. It's on Patreon, so you have so common sense in case you're slow, that's to support the the, the creator. And I see a woman, I assume it's a black woman. She wants me to tell her for free, get your behind on Patreon, man, but please keep it moving. I said, this is, so, this is so black. What do you think Patreon is for? To support the um, the content creator. So of uh, 27 people is what I have on Patreon. They're paying me, what, $5 a month? But you want me to sit up here and tell you for free? No, I won't do it. And then I thought about it. I was speaking with an attorney, and I said, wow, I just had that on my Patreon. Then I already told folks all about it. And I thought about it. A many black person don't want to hear that video. And, and for those who may be listening, the one I did, you all remember, I was telling you, uh, I went to litigation and how, how money moves. Remember what they did to me with that device. I'm, I'm referring to that video. And I said, wow, maybe if that person would have had that video, maybe wouldn't have lost. I thought about it. We want everything for free. Oh, this is going to just tell us. I, I, no, no, you can go figure it out yourself. And I said, wow, I just did a video on Patreon. Look up. Lord, you got some bad news for somebody. It's like, were you serious? And I was like, that, that's our people. We want everything for you when it comes to black folks. And I was like, wow, I thought about it. I said, if a person would have probably just heard that video, I don't care if you paid $5 just for one time. And you know how black folks do. We'll pay a little bit and we don't want you to keep getting money from us. So we'll pay $5 for a month and then we'll stream all the videos then cancel. You know, that's how black folks do. Not surprising. But I said, look at that. I said, my, five, my video could have saved that person and looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars our people don't. I said, wow. That's why I put it on there. I've already heard. And I'm not, I'm not talking about some older black lawyer at the church. No, I'm talking about the ones that have the big ass law firms. That's what I'm talking about. They don't take no uh, $20,000 case. You understand what I'm saying? And I, That's why I'm telling you. Trying to help you. And I thought about it. But that's how we are. Even black women. We want to keep each other down. So I'm not putting the video on the main page. Oh, no, it's going to stay on the Patreon. And if this happens to the next Negro, then oh, well, you just deal with it. Maybe you don't deserve no money, any, any wealth, because we're very good at keeping it out of each other's hands. I said, wow. What, again, our people don't listen. Should be trying to build and work together. The man is... Leave them alone, even if it's your mammy. Doesn't matter because, like, again, this community has nothing to offer you but a living hell. Look in Chicago. The crimes committed against women. And you do understand that people do that because they hate you, right? You do, you do understand that. So if you're around little TT, that behavior that he engages in, the crime, it can have an effect on thee. That's why I say, you depend on having kids, give it five years. Maybe try to learn to invest. Pretend you have a kid. It's an egg. What's daycare? Here, let's try it this way, too, if you don't want to invest. Pretend you have a kid. They had that little egg. Now, what are you going to need? You're going to need a car seat. Then take them out your check and put into a different account for the car seat. You're going to need diapers and milk on a monthly. How much is that? Go ask baby mom. I'm sure she know. Whatever that amount is, I need you to write a check out and put that into a different account. Car seat. Now, food, formula, clothing. How much do they spend on clothing average? Whatever the amount is, write a check out and then put it in a different account. You should do that monthly. How much is, yeah, let, let's do it that way. How much is typically spent on food? How much is take out your check for insurance? How much is spent on co-pays and medicine? So do some research, ladies, and write that down. How much is daycare? So add up how much is daycare for one child plus food and clothing. How much they take out of your account for insurance? Add that up. Now, every month, go ahead and write a check for that same dollar amount to a different account, a different savings account. I bet you some months you, ain't, you won't be able to do it, will you? So why the hell would you carry the seed of poverty knowing the responsibility is going to be on thee? Why? 
down you're just gonna downgrade your living and then let's here come the carjackings and the rapes and the assaults and the kidnappings and the sex trafficking and if it happened to you what is this gonna happen to your kid let's try it that way and let's make sure before you decide to be a baby mama let's make sure that you can you can account for this every month all right let's see how much you have at the end of the year now do that times five and you tell me this community it is lost and it is destroyed and if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again you're going to get the same results and that's what we've been doing because we don't want to listen. We, you can't nobody tell us nothing. And I got a news flash for you. The white man ain't finna come and save your ass. Mine neither. No, he's busy saving his own. He's not worried about you. They got the black man to do the work of the clan, And some black women too. That's why I said black women, it's time to be selfish. When you have family members in these situations and it's a bonquifa, no, do not let them ruin your dream, honey. You only got one darn chance. We ain't no catch. You don't have nine lives. I don't want to hear what black mama got to say. Well, you, I know you, somebody got to help. You don't have no kid. LaShawn got three kids. And you. So I, I'm tired now. She. I noticed that too because, again, she's doing, and she doesn't know any better. She's really doing, she thinks she's in control, Black Queen Mama does. But what she doesn't understand, she's only doing what she's been taught to do. So she's just here with age. You see what I'm saying? She, she, she didn't write the playbook. It's been passed down. The book is defective. So Black Queen Mama, she may think she's in charge. No, Black Queen Mama is doing what her mother told her to do and the one before her. The cycle of poverty has to be broken. The cycle of danger has to be broken. The cycle of self-hatred that we're engaging in has to be broken. So when you when you see things like that, don't let it bring you down. I've seen it. It's like, wow. I, I, it's really sad to see a young woman, and I've seen them divorced or single, got a house or condo, their own place, no children to take care of, time some ghetto stuff happen, Black Queen Mama gonna delegate, and you just obey, no, Black Queen Mama, this ain't, we love you, we gonna respect you, but this ain't Burger King, you're not gonna have it your way, your way it's just not working, and it's, I'm sorry, and that's our problem, we're not gonna be wrong, so that's fine. It's like going to a store, buying two left shoes. You have a left and a right foot. I'm going to buy two left shoes. Well, let's see you walk out of here with two left shoes and what's going to happen to you. Good luck. We're not going to be wrong. The community is out of order. So you can stay in Blackistan and, you know, uh, do the norm that we've been doing. It's just not working. The most dangerous place for a black woman to be it's sadly, this right here just shows you, it's in the black community. You are the number one victim. They know the men not, don't work that much. A lot of them are unemployed. You are the number one victim. And think, this is how your community respects you. The disappearing dad has been gone. Some of the kids will know their father if you walk past them. And they're so stupid. They are taking out and victimizing the women that stayed to raise them. How can you can't? This is, I'm, you know, I see what they mean. Don't give birth to them. Ooh, can, can you? I, I, I keep saying, occur to see the poverty. D. Just think about it. The a whole collection of men. That's why there is a fatherless homes, and the fools are mad and angry and taking their anger and frustration out on the ones that stayed. You a fool to keep on staying. I'm sorry. You a fool to keep on. No appreciation. No protection. No appreciation, no protection. Again, who's marching for you? You probably can't get in Chicago, fire for the black men to march for you. But oh, let something happen. So you're going to have to save yourself. Black women are actually in a war zone and don't even know it and guess what the war zone is even in their home and don't even know it and you try to tell them we gonna get a little pissy at you and get mad and if it makes you angry you want to unsubscribe dog that's okay too i'll be fine boo <laughs> that, that's okay but i'll tell you one thing if a lot of younger women had a message like this yet yesterday they wouldn't be in the situation that they're in today 
but we're not going to listen. You are at war within your own group, your own community. We kill each other with jealousy. So this thing about, look, look, that's why I said a wet blowing has the hardest job. I don't think uh, Jamie Dimon and David Solomon and those two guys, we know who they are, investment. Jamie Dimon with uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, David Solomon with Goldman Sachs. These men are very smart and they know numbers. These, they're all, I mean, they're talk about worldly men, come on. They're like, I mean, come on, we know who they are. If they were to walk in the shoes of a black woman for just six months, they probably couldn't believe it. They probably couldn't believe it. And they're strong. I guarantee you they want them shooting. Uh, by six months, I give it 30 days. Because I don't think Jamie Diamond got the kind of uh, patience for, no, for <laughs> a bunch of nonsense. Your boy is right straight to it. I don't think Jamie Diamond got the patience. Oh, my goodness. They calling you her hat and all of that. Sitting up, sit, sitting up here giving birth, turn around, get murked. The hardest job in the, I keep telling you, the hardest job in America is to be a positive black woman trying to accomplish something. You see what your community has to offer you. No respect, no, no protection, none whatsoever. The men making a living off of you. They're so angry and so conquered. They don't want to build. They're too scared and too weak. So the, the, the collective victimized the women. So just keep on doing what we normally taught to do. Uh, and I hope that works out well for you. But it's not. It's not. If there's ever a time to be selfish, it's now. Do what's best for you. All the other is noise. Big mom and all of that that's running the show, she's running the show in a manner that, that was ran for her. It's passed down. It's not how she's managing things. It's not working out. You only have one life. It shouldn't be black women in their 30s having mental breakdowns. It shouldn't be. It just shouldn't be. Do not carry the seed of poverty, D. You want to keep that far away from the, you might end up on the screen. I don't want that for you. So I am done with the video. Let me know what you all think. This is just mind boggling. It is very disturbing. It is psychologically dehumanizing the way black women are treated in this community. But you're going to keep on fighting for them. Keep on carrying the seed of poverty D. You'll see what happens. Feel free to comment, like, dislike, share. Simply say it on YouTube and I'm out.